Okay, so uh, in this lecture series, we have already tried to understand what is formal languages and automata theory, and what we will be going to cover under this course. So that is what we discussed initially, and uh, then we come up to some basic questions like what is computation, what are the computation devices, and uh, we also told you that okay, we will be going to discuss. Uh, various computation devices based on their resources, what kind of resources they use, and uh, because of those resources, what kind of capability or what kind of questions it can, this computation machine can answer. So these we have discussed, and then we try to discuss some of the examples of finite automata, wherein we have finite number of states. So we took an example of an uh, electric toggle switch, uh, which has two states off and on. And if we uh, push the toggle switch, we move from off state to on state. And if we push again it, then we reach from on state to off state. So that is what uh, we talked about uh, about a uh, toggle button. And then we discuss about uh, another example of fan regulator. Regulator, wherein uh, a fan regulator can have two different kind of actions. Uh, clockwise direction and anti clockwise direction and depending on what kind of action you choose at which particular state you move into some other state and correspondingly we we try to answer two type of questions if we start given a start state given a start state And given a set of, given a sequence of actions, sequence of actions, what will be our, what will be the state we will reach in, we will reach in. Or maybe we can ask the question like, okay, what is the sequence of states that will be achieved while consuming or while uh, taking these sequence of actions? If the sequence of actions we take, what will be the... So, one is we are interested only in the final state and other thing is, what is the sequence? What is the sequence? Of states. So that is what we talked about. These are the two questions we try to talk about. And then we also gave you some answer question that if this is the sequence of actions that you can take on this pen regulators example, where and you start, let us suppose you start at state three, where you will reach, what will be your final state? And similarly, you can. Uh, try to attempt this question wherein you maybe you have started let's say state zero and uh, taking this sequence of actions where you will reach and what will be the sequence of states so after consuming p what will be the state after consuming where after consuming a where will it reach so all these type of questions you can answer so that is what we discussed and then we discussed another example of uh, identifying the binary string that is divisible by 4. And uh, while doing that, we try to make up a, uh, an example or make up a finite automata which has states corresponding to the remainder. So there is a state corresponding to uh, the remainder 0, there is a state corresponding to remainder 1, there is a state which is corresponding to remainder 2 and there is a state corresponding to the remainder 3. And then we try to see, okay, if the next uh, element in the string, so we are consuming this string, we are reading this string from the left side. So let's say you have this string, so we are reading it from the left side. 
we first read this 0 and then we take 1. So initially it may be starting at this place because the remainder of an empty string, empty string can be taken as 0, empty string. Empty string can be assumed to be uh, of, of decimal equivalent 0, decimal equivalent. Zero. So that is what we can try to understand. And if we assume so, then our starting state will be this one, zero. And we may move into one, two, or three corresponding to the remainder that is left out after taking that particular or uh, the, the new bit, the next bit. So initially, let's say the remainder is zero. Now, if you take a bit one, then it becomes zero one. So we reach here. And if we take another 0, then we remain at 0 because uh, 0, 0 has remainder 0 when you divide it by uh, 4. So similarly, you can actually draw this uh, um, finite state machine as we have discussed in the earlier lecture. Now, we discussed also we discussed about the special states. What are the special states? The special states like, like what is the start state? So where we should start? What should be the start state? So that is one thing. And maybe like corresponding to the which particular state is able to identify divisibility by 4. Which particular state is able to identify divisibility by 4 which has a remainder 0. So in this particular case, the, the state which is identifying the string which is divisible by 4 and the start state both of them are same but in general it is not true they may be different in fact it is possible that you have multiple uh, states that are final states or that the states that are trying to define or identify certain type of strings for example we can have a problem which says that the remainder should be either 1 or remainder should be either 3 on divide, dividing the determine uh, on dividing the thing by 4 so you have a string s when you divide or take the modulo with 4 the remainder should be either 1 or 3 in that case 1 may be your final state because you want to identify all such strings all such binary strings which have remainder 1 or remainder 3 so these will be the final states and 0 will be the start state. So you may have multiple final states or you may have multiple states that corresponds to the string identifying states. So the states that are going to say that, okay, this is the string that you have got now. So that is something which is uh, particular about this. Now we are going to uh, turn towards another example when we want to talk about a binary string that ends with 0, 1. So, when you talk about such kind of finite state automata, what do we understand? So, when we say something is a binary string and so binary string can, if it is of at least length 2, if it is of at least length 2, then it can end up with 0, 0 or maybe end up with 0, 1 or maybe end up with 1, 0 or maybe end up with 1, 1. Okay. So, <clears throat> initially what will happen? Initially, you have just a 0 in the start. Now, if you get a 0, if you get a 0, it becomes 0, 0. And if you get a 1, if you get a 1, then it becomes 0, 1 because we are reading the string from left to right. So we are reading this omega string from left to right. So we assume that initially we have a 0, then we got a 0, then it becomes the last two digits of the string becomes 0, 0. And if we get a 1, then the last two digits becomes 0, 1. 
now if i get another zero let us suppose if i get another zero then definitely the last two digits are zero zero only right because you get a zero then a zero now if you get another zero then the last two bits are zero zero so that's how we reach to the same state now if at this place you get a one then the last two digits becomes yes very correct zero one right so you reach to this particular state if you get a one now let's suppose if you get a zero over here so if you get a zero over here the so last digit becomes one zero last two digits becomes one zero so one zero is not the state that we have discussed up to now. So one zero may be one state wherein this has to reach if it gets a zero. But suppose it gets a one, it gets a one. In that case, the last two digits becomes one one because earlier the last digit was one. So if we am appending a one. So the last two digits becomes one one. Okay. Now again, uh, we can discuss what will happen if I get a zero over here. If I get a zero over here, I will reach to this state, right? And if I get a one over here, so zero one. So last two digits becomes zero one. So if I get a one over here, I reach here. Right, and let's suppose if you are discussing this and you get a zero. So the next bit can be either zero or one. So if you get a zero over here, where you will reach one zero. And if you get a one over here, then last two digits becomes one one. So that's how we can make a entire uh, finite state automata. It has certain finite states certain number of states which does not depend on the length of the input so even if you have a string of let's say 100 characters or 100 uh, binary digits even then it requires that much things it does not need more states because only last two uh, elements of the string are required because nothing is nothing extra is needed now you can see we want to identify those strings which are ending with 0 1 so since we are interested in only those strings which are ending with 0 1 so we can make them we can this make this particular state as a identifying state so we have certain states that are very special states one is the start state start state and another one is identifying a state sometimes and many times we say it to be a final state. So these are called identifying state or, or final state. So that's all for this lecture. We'll uh, discuss uh, more mathematical in a more mathematical way more formally a finite state automata in the next lecture thank you